ABC 10 News at 11 starts now. Local lawmakers pushing a bill before the state Senate that would limit the use of so-called less lethal weapons against protesters. ABC 10 News anchor Mary McKenzie was on the call with several victims who have been injured by police during recent protests. I will never forget the pain in my head. It felt like I was on fire. Leslie Furcron describing the night of May 30th when she was hit in the head with a rubber bullet during the La Mesa protest. They should never be shot at somebody's head like the officer did to me. Furcron joined several other victims of so-called less lethal weapons used by law enforcement on protesters throughout the state. People have told me that these are called less than lethal weapons, but my doctors made it clear in my case. It could have been lethal. These stories prompted lawmaker Lorena Gonzalez to draft Assembly Bill 66. It would create the country's first standards for how and when law enforcement agencies can deploy so-called less lethal weapons like rubber bullets and pepper spray. It would also ban the use of tear gas for crowd control. It would set minimum standards for the use of these weapons by law enforcement. For example, when a person's life is at risk. And it would require data be collected on the use of these weapons and any resulting injuries. We set out to create a bill that would have clear standards um, for the use of these uh, weapons in the future. Gonzalez also claimed today that one of the rubber bullet manufacturers has said firing them at random into crowds goes against their intended use. That sentiment echoed by victims who described serious and in some cases potentially lifelong injuries. AB 66 passed out of committee earlier this month. The state Senate is expected to vote on the bill this week. Mary McKenzie, ABC 10 News.